I'm Chef Mike Moses and welcome to my kitchen. And in this episode, we're going to make rice and risotto. And I've got all that coming up. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up icon. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe and hit the notification button. I post new videos right here every weekend. Okay, rice and risotto. They're all rices, but they're done differently. For example, we're going to make a perfect rice right now. And the way that I do it, I don't buy the instant rices or anything. I actually buy jasmine rice in bulk. And there is a trick to the rice. You gotta soak it for a little bit, so we'll soak some rice in water, but the important thing is the cooking ratio. One part rice, one and a half parts liquid. And for this, I'm going to use about six ounces of rice, and I'm going to use about eight and a half to nine ounces of liquid. First thing we have to do, though, is soak the rice, and the rice requires to be soaked for about 30 minutes in water. And the easiest thing to do, just take your rice, pour it in the water, Give it a little stir with your finger to knock all the pieces that float up down and you're ready to go. 30 minutes later, we'll get this on the stove and make some perfect rice in less than 10 minutes. Our rice has been soaking for about a half an hour. You'll notice that the water gets cloudy. That's most of the starches coming out. On the stove is turn the temperature to high and add our chicken stock. That's right, chicken stock. Remember, flavor. So I'll put my chicken stock in, get that on high, and I'll also drain the rice. And I'll bring the rice over and put it in the pot. Stir it around. Make sure that the rice is completely covered with the liquid. And then you want to cover it. Now, this is the secret. You cover it and you let it come up to a boil. The moment that it hits the boiling mark, then you want to turn it down to low and let it sit for 10 minutes. As you can see, our rice has started to boil. Turn that down to low while I'm waiting for the paint to dry. No, actually, while I'm waiting for the rice to cook. If you like what I do here, and if you'd like to see more, head over to my Patreon page. All kinds of neat features for you if you become a sponsor for as low as a dollar a month. It's pretty easy. And uh, I have a Discord channel where we can actually chat one-on-one, -on -one, anytime, ask me questions. It's all for you because of your support. Turn the heat off, and now with a fork, we'll just oh, see how light and fluffy it is. See, none of the grains are stuck together. There's no liquid left. Since we did this in chicken stock, we're gonna add a little bit of butter because everything goes better with butter. And it gives it a nice sheen. Probably about a teaspoon of butter stirred around. And we'll put some on a plate. As you can see, the rice breaks apart when you serve it, which makes it nice and fluffy. There's loose kernels and a little bit of pepper just to add some color, a taste. Mm. Mm. Rice is done perfectly. Every individual rice is right there and tasty. No sticky. And as you can tell, it, it doesn't clump up. And that's how you make a really nice, no stick, flavorful rice. Let's do some risotto now. Okay, time now to make the risotto. It's very important that you have your mise en place in place for this because once you start stirring your risotto you're going to stir it till the end good 20 minutes probably until you get a nice creamy risotto we're going to use a different rice it's called arboro rice and the big difference is that there's a starch in it that's what we want to release and we're going to use arboro rice one cup of that we're going to use about a liter of beef stock important thing we need to heat the beef stock up so that it's almost boiling because you don't want to introduce a cold liquid to your risotto while it's cooking. And I just remembered I need my olive oil. So for this risotto, we need olive oil, about one cup of arboro rice. I need some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, a little bit of butter. I almost forgot we want one shallot. And I'm going to put my beef stock on the stove now. Turn that up to high just to get it to boiling and then turn it down a little, but I do want a hot beef stock. You also need a ladle. 
and something to stir it with. I use a nice silicon dessert uh, spatula. Life's too short, eat dessert first. All right, so that's there. I'm gonna turn my temperature on my first pan here to high, and I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Let that come up to temperature. All right, now we can add our shallot to the oil. Stir it around a little until it gets translucent. A couple of seconds. Now we'll add our rice. The trick to the rice is that you want to get every grain coated with the oil, which will help release some of the starches. You can wait and listen until you hear the rice start to crackle a little bit more. Telltale sign, little cracks. First ladle of beef stock. And now we start to stir. And we keep stirring this risotto for 20 minutes. You don't want to add your beef stock all at once. You add it in little increments of a time, which draws out more starch in the risotto. If you put it all in there at once, it just it wouldn't come out good. It wouldn't be pretty. Time for another ladle. Constantly stirring, taking the rice from the sides, moving it in the middle. I can tell when it's time to add more stock is when I'm moving the rice into the middle and the pan stays dry. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna reduce the heat so I don't want it to stick to the bottom. And at this point, I wanna add about a tablespoon of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Mix that around. And then you wanna add about one tablespoon of butter. That's what gives it the silky shininess, the extra little bit of flavor. And like everything else, we must taste, make sure the seasoning is correct. Could use a dash of salt, and some pepper. Another final stir here and serve up a gorgeous, creamy risotto. Look at it on the plate. And one little, one little touch from the herb garden, a little tree or a sprig of parsley. And there you have it. A very nice, creamy al dente risotto made with beef stock. You can use any kind of stock you want. Beef, chicken, veal, vegetable. Uh, the trick to it is, remember, to add your stock slowly and keep stirring, probably for about 20 minutes. I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I post videos like this every week, so please subscribe. Also, if you'd like more information, head over to my blog, thepersonalchef.blog, where I post this recipe that you can print off. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to helping you cook better, eat healthier, and shop smarter.